The Earth's axis is tilted by 23.5 degrees. This gives us seasons if you live far enough from the equator. Also, long or short days, even pure day and pure night if you live near the poles. What if the Earth's axis was twice as tilted? The answer is that everything would be more extreme. First off, the tropics and polar regions would be twice as large. The tropics is the zone where at least one day of the year the sun appears directly overhead at some point. The tropics expand from the equator to the latitude that corresponds to the planet's axial tilt. This is because the more tilted a planet is, the further from the equator the sun can be overhead. The polar regions are the zones where at least one day of the year has pure night and one day has pure day. These zones extend from the poles to the latitudes that are a distance away from the poles that correspond to the axial tilt. With a larger axial tilt, more places can be in pure night at some point. On Earth, the tropics and poles are opposites. They are very far apart. If an axial tilt is over 45 degrees, like the 47 degrees of a double-tilt Earth, then the tropics and polar regions would overlap. This is because the axial tilt is so extreme that the sun could be overhead during one part of the year and never even rise during another part of the year. Because of the extreme axial tilt, summer would be hotter and winter would be colder. This is simply because anywhere above this line or below this line would have at least one day of the year where there is no sunlight at all and one day of the year where the sun is up all day. Even the tropics would have some seasons because the axial tilt of Earth would bring them way out of direct sunlight. Have you heard of midnight sun? It is when the sun is out all day long, including midnight, and it is an event that lasts weeks in the polar countries during summer. Midnight sun only happens as far from the poles as some of Alaska, Canada's northern islands, most of Greenland, some of Scandinavia, and the north of Russia by the North Pole, and most of Antarctica by the South Pole. With the higher axial tilt, midnight sun would occur as far south as Chicago and Rome, and as far north as some of South America and New Zealand. Also, the North Star would be a different star because the axis, and therefore the North Pole, would be pointing in another direction. If the Earth's axis was always doubly tilted, history would be very different. First off, people would be paler. In the tropics, the Earth's axis would bring people out of direct sunlight for most of the year. In the polar regions, a large part of the year would have no sunlight, and even when there is sunlight, it would be at an indirect angle. With less direct sunlight, people would need more vitamin D and less protection from ultraviolet light. That is why they would be paler. Another change would be that people wouldn't live as far north or south as they do, at least not as quickly. In the north, much of North America, Europe, and Northern Asia would have terrible snowstorms in winter. In the south, some of South America and Australia would have similar winter storms. These storms and cold would be too much for early colonizers that don't have heaters or oil. Also, all of the darkness and indirect sunlight along with the long winters would be bad for growing crops. Humanity would be relegated to Africa, South Asia, Australia, and the tropics of North and South America until electricity and heaters and light bulbs were invented. A lot of history has occurred in Europe, but with this different world, no permanent settlements could exist in Europe other than a few small populations of people that can live in colder climates. The effect of this is that Europe would be practically erased from history. The Middle East into India, and maybe even South China, would be the new center of humanity. Africa would be slightly cooler from the axial tilt, so it might have more arable land and it wouldn't be as poor. The world would be made up of South Asia and Africa for a long time. These zones would keep progressing and trading with each other until people started to explore. Colonizing ships would either get to the Americas from the west or the east, but instead of arriving at a land full of natives, they would find an empty continent. 
the reason that people wouldn't be in the Americas is because people came over from the tip of Russia. This northern part of Russia would be in an almost permanent state of winter and full of ice. It would be very unlikely for people to pass through that. In the end, the Americas would have been colonized more smoothly. The colonization of Australia would go similarly to how it really went. Natives and, coloni natives and colonizers fighting. Eventually, once everything was colonized, the world would be filled and start progressing. Finally, the polar regions would be opened up. Slowly, as transportation of food and climate control technology got better at dealing with the cold and snow, people would move closer to the poles. Overall, a doubled axial tilt would make the planet more extreme. If you want to know what the effects of a quadrupled axial tilt would have, then tune in next time. Just kidding. An Earth like this would be dead. Just a dead rock.